Hey everyone, this is Gadget Mix. In this video, I will be reviewing the Fujitsu uh, SP1130 paper scanner. This is one of the best scanners um, for bulk copying your documents. And this is what it looks like when you have assembled it. Um, you can remove it, remove it if you want, but if you want to in, uh, insert some paper, you would have to attach this very thing. Uh, it kind of collapses like this if you want to if you don't want it to take uh, a lot of space but if you are scanning big documents like a4 or a5 you will have to open it a little bit you can also stretch it like this and when you want to insert paper you can you have to open it like that and for this video i'll be using this official paper uh, quick installation sheet that you get in the uh, in the box itself so this is almost a4 size i would say and there you go the pc uh, software kit is very easy and straightforward um, i love the fact it does not occupy a lot of space uh, to get you an idea to give you an idea this is a fifth uh, 15 inch uh, Asus or laptop and this is what it looks like it's uh, it occupies or it, its width is less than uh, the MacBook Air the latest version which is here it is less than that so anyway <clears throat> so let's see how it works so I'll be opening the PageMaker software that is included with the package you get the full version of it Presto PageMaker, there's another one, uh, but I prefer to use this one. So what I'll be doing now is clicking on acquire image data here. And I've connected it to the USB port. That's the only way you can um, use it. Uh, so I'm specifying which paper size. It's almost A4, so I'm going to select A4. And then feeder both sides. I'm really going to leave it to default. Uh, and DPA 200, you can increase it if you want. But since I'm scanning paper, I think 200, 200 DPI is more than enough. Then I'm going to click scan. This is a multiple page scanner, so it can scan multiple pages in one go. So you can have your entire. Oh, since this paper was not straight, uh, I ran into a few problems. Um, but uh, it does work. <laughs> I'll be giving it one more try. Wait a second. Okay, so I bought a bunch of invoices here. And since these are multiple papers, I'll say um, I'll switch this to automatic and feeder. Feeder to only front side so and this is not colored but okay automatic color detection let's see if it works and yeah let's do the scan this time there you go one document two document three document so that is that is that is super fast um, I think we are done don't close and we have got all of our documents here okay we will use the same very same application so that was the first one which did not scan properly but the rest of the ones um, I don't want to show the contents but that was the uh, opposite side of the first document that I scanned which failed actually and this is the third one I'm going to blur the contents but um, it's very clear the, the thing is um, if you want to scan multiple documents in one go, for example, this this thing scan like three seconds. This thing, this thing took like six seconds to scan three documents. 
it is for those people who want to scan a lot of documents in one go it's not for Tom Dick and Harry who just want to scan one or two documents or let's say five documents in a day if you want to scan a bunch of documents let's say 20 documents in one go it is for those otherwise it's not worth spending 500 600 dollars on a document scanner this is one of the best industrial like industrial strength scanners in the world it's very durable um, it's made to work in all sorts of environments in tough environments and humid environment this is rock solid thing by Fujitsu um, it can scan A4 A5 uh, letter documents it's a great uh, scanner so uh, if you're in the market for a paper scanner definitely this one should be on top of your list if you can afford it um, it works very nicely it looks very um, industrial and I love it. it it works just fine with Windows 10 and 11 I'm running Windows 10 on it but it's working more Windows 11 as well I've tried, I used that on my Asus VivoBook uh, touch, touch screen one it worked just fine on that so yeah that's all about it um, I love the the software that came with it so yeah that's all about it hope you like this video give this video a like and uh, see you subscribe for more technology and watch reviews bye bye